Hey guys, it's Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to run Minecraft 1.8.1. Fast with no lag. First off, you do need to install Optifine. I am going to give you some other tips besides Optifine if that isn't working perfectly for you. But we will be using Optifine primarily in this. Luckily for you, I do have a tutorial on how to install Optifine. There's a video on your screen right now, as well as a link at the end of this video and in the description down below that will take you off to a video that shows you exactly how to install Optifine in Minecraft 1.8.1. Very, very easy to do. Very, very simple. Just go, go through that tutorial, literally just a few clicks, and uh, boom, you're back here, ready to go and running Minecraft 1.8.1, fast with no lag. First off, however, we do want to start here in the Minecraft launcher. We want to go to the profile we're going to be playing on. In my case, that's Nick's Games. We're going on to hit Edit Profile and make sure the used version is release 1.8.1 Optifine. If it is, boom, step one is done. Step two, we want to come up here to resolution and make sure the resolution is 1280 by 720 or lower than that. The lower these two numbers are, the less lag you're going to have in Minecraft. The only problem is the lower these two numbers are, right, the more or the smaller Minecraft is going to be, the actual window that Minecraft is in. I like it 1280 by 720 because that's, 10, that's 720p, that's what I record videos at and stuff like that. So, that's where I leave it. That's where I'm going to leave it for this tutorial. But you might want to lower this to 640, right, by 480. Right, so 640 by 480. That might be what your resolution might want to be. But for me, I'm going to leave it 1280 by 720 just because that is 720p. However, again, the lower these two numbers are, the less lag you'll have. Nevertheless, work our way on down. Make sure, again, release 1.8.1-shop to find. Then at the very bottom here, we want to set some Java arguments. Now, the only one we want to focus on is this one right here. The first thing you see, this is how much RAM Minecraft uses, right? The more RAM that Minecraft uses, the less it's going to lag. The only problem is, how much RAM does your PC have? This is very, very easy to see, luckily. We go to the Start menu. Click on computer right here, and then click on system properties. It takes us off to here, where we can then see installed memory, RAM, as 16 gigabytes. That's me. What does it say for you? Don't go more than half of what it says for you. So, if we come back here to Minecraft, I have 4 gigabytes. The most I would go is 8, but that's insane. I'm just going to leave it at four the most that's the most i would recommend anybody going is four gigabytes right so uh, allocate how much ram you have at least half if you have four gigabytes of ram you'll go two if you have one gigabyte of ram you'll go one or you know, if you have two gigabytes of ram you'll go one if you don't have a gigabyte of ram you might have some trouble playing minecraft and i would say yeah you need at least two gigabytes of ram to run minecraft and that's just the bottom line in my case four gigabytes is what we're allocating once you've done that click save profile click play it's now going to open up minecraft 1.8.1 with uh, four gigabytes of ram running now what we want to do is once this is open right click up here on the start menu click properties and then oh i'm sorry right click up here on the start menu and click start task manager that was my bad and then we want to go to java w right here the second one right if you're not here by default you'll be on this page you want to click on processes and sort by memory making whatever is using the most memory at the top as you can see here there are two java w's one here and one here the second one the one that's using the less amount of memory right here right click on that in that process end process it goes away minecraft stays perfectly fine that's the minecraft launcher running in the background for absolutely no reason once you've done that you can close out of system properties and uh we can get started working on optifine something i do want to mention make sure you don't have any texture packs on because that'll make you lag like crazy too so once you've turned off your texture packs and all that the rest of this video is optifine let's jump into it video settings I'm going to set this up as someone who has a terrible PC, right? I'm going to, if you have one gigabyte of RAM total, you're running Minecraft with 0.5 gigabytes of RAM, you have a terrible PC, this is going to be the best settings for you. If you do not have that, you have a decent PC, but you just want Minecraft to perform better, do all of this and then tweak what you think is a bit crazy. For example, 
you might not want to be on tiny render distance. But that's what I'm going to use for this video. Just because if you have a terrible PC and all you want to do is play, that's going to work for you. So that's what we're going to be doing. Make sure render distance is on tiny. Graphics need to be on fast. Smooth lighting needs to be off. Smooth lighting level also needs to be off. Frame rate, I like to keep that unlimited, but that's up to you. You could lower that to 30 or 60 FPS. I'm keeping it unlimited, though. View bobbing, that doesn't affect... Uh, performance at all so no nothing to do there gui scale that needs to be small if you want things to perform really really well but for me i'm just going to keep it auto because if i don't you can't see it in the video vbo's some people have said they have success with this some people have said they don't i'm gonna say turn it on if minecraft is lagging for you after you've turned vbo's on turn it back off brightness doesn't affect lag at all alternative blocks is going to affect lag so that does need to be off fog needs to be off and fog start doesn't matter because fog is off. 3D needs to be off. Quality. And quality, minimap levels, guess what? Doesn't matter. Minimap nearest, doesn't matter. And there's topic filtering. That's left over from 7.10 and all the previous versions. I don't know why you haven't taken that out yet. Anti-aliasing. This needs to be off. Clear water, off, off. Random mobs, off. Better grass. Everything on this page, guess what? It needs to be off. Click done and then move on to details where everything is going to be one or two things. It's going to be off, off, fast trees, because guess what? There is no off. Rain and snow, off, 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 fast. Boom. There we go. Entity shadows. That's going to slow things down. Turn that off. Once you've done that, go over to performance, fast math, turn that on. If you see some issues with flickering and things like that, go ahead and turn that back off. But Turning it on is better. Smooth world, that needs to be on. Load far needs to be off. Don't turn that on. That'll kill your PC. Preloaded chunks. You can do that eight, right, if you want, but I would probably recommend turning it off just to improve performance. Chunk updates. This is kind of what you want to do here. Depends on what you're looking for. If you have trouble with your world loading really slow this needs to be on five if you just want it performance and it to run fast with higher fps you want it to be one so in this case we want it to be one dynamic updates we want that to be on fast rendering if you see any flickering of chunks or things like that after you turn on fast rendering leave that on in my case i do see that so i'm going to turn that off lazy chunk loading you want this to be on it's going to make things a lot smoother animations very easy to do this one come down here and click all off done other once we're in other lagometer i like turning that off it's kind of annoying weather's going to be off full screen's going to be off 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 auto save you can make this up to 30 minutes long but beware you could lose up to 30 minutes of gameplay in minecraft so i would recommend doing three minutes because three minutes isn't too bad you lose three minutes in minecraft you can make that up pretty fast 30 minutes that's gonna take a while so go ahead and click done and uh, once you've done all that you can click done again, click done again, launch into single player or multiplayer or whatever. I'm just going to launch into a single player world because why not? Once you launch into it here, as you can see, tiny render distance and everything, we can go ahead and click F3 and see that we have 80, 100, somewhere around there FPS. Now, let me make sure that I don't have any frame rate stabilization on or anything like that. It looks like we don't. Let's turn off VBOs and see how that affects things, right? So as I said, some people have help with VBOs and some people don't. Looks like I do. I have better results with VBOs on. Now, something that's kind of funny that you guys might find interesting, I get better FPS on a custom gaming PC without Optifine installed. Why? Because Optifine stabilizes FPS. As you can see, it's stabilizing around 90 to 107, which by the way, it's, it's up here in this corner. It's stabilizing somewhere around that area, right? That's because that's what Optifine does. It makes FPS smooth, right? You don't have as many lag spikes and lag, you know, dips, right? You don't have many of those with Optifine. However, if you have a good gaming PC, you won't affect those because you're already getting 1,000 FPS anyway, which is usually where I run around whenever I'm uh, doing stuff. Also, I am recording, which does lower it a little bit, but if you ask me, 100 to 150 FPS is pretty freaking good. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. That's how you can run Minecraft 1.8.1 fast with absolutely no lag. If you are still having lag after this, maybe your computer just isn't good enough to run Minecraft. I hate to say that, but uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, these are all my best tips. If I did forget something, leave it in the comment section down below. I do admit that I'm not perfect, and maybe I did 
skip over something. If I did, check down there if you're still having problems. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make awesome Minecraft tutorials every single day of the week. Love you guys. See you next time. Peace. And here's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. On the left is how to install Optifine in Minecraft 1.8.1. Now that you know how to set it up and everything, why not go install it and set it up? So that's how you can do that. Check out that video to see exactly how to install Optifine in 1.8.1. And on the right is Nick's Craft Episode 9. That is my weekly Minecraft survival Let's Play series where I just go play Vanilla Survival, have some fun. It's pretty good. Go check it out. I'm building a freaking Sky Village. Also, in the bottom of your screen, that'll take you off to a channel where you can see tons of videos on growing your channel with your own videos. It's incredible. Go check it out. I think you will really, really like it if you're a YouTuber. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out. Peace.